Dude, remember when I told you guys I wanted to move home because I like, I hated how out west you couldn't do anything. Couldn't even ride my ATV in the streets. This is where we live now, boys. This shit happens like once every hour. Hell yeah, brother. Anyways, November 19th at 12 p.m. EST. Follow us on Instagram, we'll set reminders. You guys can go there or go to thecommittedcrew.com and sign up for the newsletter. We will send you a reminder. We have these new gray stay committed hoodies coming out. These are maybe only fall 2020 collection item because we really dropped the ball with the whole moving across the country thing. Now, I never jumped on the mask game right away because I, d I didn't want to be one of those guys that makes things for trend. But it's not leaving. It it's, it's here to stay and bug us and piss us off. And now that we've moved back to Ontario, we we on now <laughs> now that we moved back to Ontario we realize the intensity of it because like you, you masks are mandatory here you can't go anywhere without a mask we got a nice little partner up with storm tech boys these are the nicest masks that you will buy these aren't the cotton little ones that people make to make some money we're barely making money on these things because they're really expensive but I ain't selling you a junkie mask so these will fit anybody these are adjustable they have the little metal adjustable piece in the nose to contour to your face they have this little extendo chin piece so that like it'll cover if you got big head these guys also come with two carbon filters that you can lay inside they have a little pocket sleeve and they're just literally like super light easy to wear really really breathable if you're gonna have to wear a mask everywhere you go you may as well one wear one that you actually enjoy wearing and two you may as well represent while you're wearing like I wish they could wear can you guys just try this on you really don't know like tell me how comfy that is dude That is so nice. So I took six days off. It was intense. We spent a lot of time working on the house We just like sort of started making the place ours Absolutely busting my ass trying to get this place to like a, a state where it feels kind of like comfortable and nice I want to work in it So let me show you guys what we've been up to. when we were doing the garage We actually got way too much of the wall paint because it took so much primer that I sent Courtney out to get double the amount of the paint We already had for the walls. So we had a bunch left over so we actually did this off like these walls are the same color as the ones outside in the shop which is kind of cool this whole wall black which was super super sketchy just like with the computer and the desk and everything just all blacked out on the wall and then i don't have door knobs because i want to get silver ones they used to be gold we painted the insides too so like everything just flows super nicely if we could just one room by one room get rid of this we'll be good we got our spare room a little bit more decked out we got a new fan in here with actual working light bulbs we got a bed in here little crib so Wiley can have sleepovers. And we got a new bed, boys. We got a nice, massive new bed. We got a new fan that goes with our new bed. The best thing we've done so far. We got a massive new dinner table. You guys remember before when I was like showing you our tiny little dinky one from our like original tiny basement apartment? You could sit like eight people here. We ain't trying to have guests, so we just have four chairs. It's gonna look better when the yeah. walls are not yellow too. Courtney made us get a smart thermostat. Painted up this old gun room, so it's no longer like poo color. It's uh, it's green. This is a green that we found in the garage. I guess they had it in the house at one point somewhere. I didn't want to pay to paint the, the merch room. I just didn't want it to look like poop. And then Courtney's been in here. She set up some of the some of the sweaters. We're trying to figure out how we're gonna get like more shelving in this room because it's not as big once you start putting stuff here. And for reference, this is our old dinner table. We're literally using it as like, what, what is this, like a desk? It's like my little workstation. It's like that's what we used to eat at. <laughs> we took so long to do these things and I show you them so quickly it feels like they don't even count. But we also spent over an entire day, pulled this everything out of this garage, cleaned up all that guy's junk, completely gutted this, cleaned the floors, cleaned everything. Like we are gonna do like a renovation of this place. I wanna put drywall on all these walls, insulate it. But for this winter, because we're not gonna have time before it gets cold, I'm just gonna use it as kind of like storage. It's a nice garage. It will be at least. Boys, we got something extra exciting today. My dad said that he put about four liters in forever ago just to get it running, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's out of gas. Let's try that. Happy or not, boys, she still runs. Oh, I love you. Whoa, 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 you guys thought this thing was gonna be pretty. Hold on, right, first off, there's probably some hurt feelings about the dime. We sold the dime when we were out west before we moved home. I knew I was moving home at the time, so I knew I was coming home to my favorite S10. It's also an awkward car. You guys know me, I like I like a lot of things. I'm not like a, a solid JDM guy, although I do love the JDM car. But I'm like just a car fan in general. I like new trucks, I like old square body trucks, I like old round body trucks. I don't have a lane, boys. That's what makes me special. Anyways, I told you guys we sold the old S10 because I wasn't I, I wasn't building it for the right intentions I was building it for the intentions I was trying to build a car that I thought would impress you guys not that I truly love 
This fine piece of machinery is a 1987 Chevy S10, 2.8 liter V6, two wheel drive, work of art. And it's only got 40,000 kilometers on the original engine and body. That's pretty cool. So I know a lot of you guys have seen this in the videos. A lot of you real, real, real OGs know what this truck is. And I'm pretty sure I even told you guys when I moved home a little bit about this truck. But since it's gonna be at my house and available to work on, which means I'm probably gonna start building it, I figure you guys deserve a solid introduction and a proper backstory on where this thing came from because I have had this this is this this is the oldest car I own. No, I've owned this car longer than any other car I have owned. Even the BRZ. The young Robbie would have never imagined. Now, I'm honestly surprised how good it still runs. Okay, so once upon a time a young broke 17, 18 year old Robbie was looking for a project car. I didn't really have any money for a project car, but I was looking for something that I could tinker with and build and learn and get my hands dirty. And somehow, through a family friend, we found this thing. This thing was purchased brand new by my dad's friend's dad. He drove it for like a year or two and his wife was like, nah, I don't like it, get rid of it. But he really liked the truck, so he didn't get rid of it. He threw it in a barn up north, and it sat there 29,000 kilometers on it for like almost 30 years. And right around the time I'm looking to buy a project car, and my dad's friend was like, yo, if you want this truck, you can take it. It's gonna be 200 bucks. And there's young Robbie with 200 bucks burning a hole in his pocket. Now mind you, this is all pre-YouTube, so I don't have the best documentation of this, but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. We drove all the way up north, to the barn where this thing was being kept. We bolted one of those one of those V-bar tow things so we could tow it home behind my dad's truck. Bunch of stuff went down when we got this truck home. I completely gutted the interior because there was mice in it at one point. So I completely gutted it, cleaned the entire inside behind the dash, wiring harness. We just did the usual complete gutting of the inside and reassembly in, in good condition. Now mind you, this truck's been neglected for the last like four years, it's been outside. I, Drove it in the winter one time when I came home to visit. It's not in as good of a shape now as it once was. Completely painted the wheels, new tires, polished up the beauty rings. Full new brake system from the pedal to the caliper. We had the entire bed off. We put a new gas tank in it, new fuel lines in it. Did as much maintenance to the engine that we could without having to pull it, like plugs, carb rebuild, simple things. And then, and then boys, somehow this thing just came to life. Smells like a race car. At one point, I completely did a paint restoration on this thing, which obviously I did, didn't do that good of a job sealing it back up because it faded again really quick. I ordered up some parts like this dash cover, which I never ended up installing. The OEM dash is pretty cracked up and really just enjoyed the absolute hell out of this thing for like two years. Now, you guys are gonna notice a lot of stuff like this. This wasn't me. We found the truck in the barn like that. There was a little bit of rust. He obviously just threw some paint over. Same thing with up here. He was just trying to cover up, you know, whatever rust was there. It's been getting bad as I've been, I let it sit outside for the last four years. I know it's a bad idea. I know. Anyways, we had this thing cleaned up to the absolute max of my young ability and bank account. And uh, there were some things that never got fixed like this. Someone tried to, you know, steal it. So they pulled the door lock out and I never ended up buying a new door lock. At, it, at the time it was beyond me. There's a little bit of rust down here that I threw some, <laughs> there's some duct tape over years ago. It's like frail old junk now. And this thing was awesome, man. I just had so much fun in this truck. And then I moved out west. That was it. And I know it's not the normal builds, and I know it's not like a JDM car, and I know it's not. I just, I can't make myself be like the same as everybody else. Like, I just can't. But especially when your heart is in something, when your heart's in something, nothing, nothing's gonna stop you. Something about 
This garage is like super humbling though, because it's really small, and like <laughs> normal people would have this. And I feel like me having one car in just this garage makes me like appreciate the fact that I have more garages and more cars. Because like this is all most people have, if they have this. We didn't. Most people have this, and they might not even have this as a driveway. They might just have the.